In this sub-lesson, we're talking about the very important concept of data storage and mobile devices. And here's a list of some of the, the key issues that CompTIA wants you to be aware of on the exam. Some of these are concerns like, you know, storage itself, non-removable storage, removable cloud storage, transfers and backups, things like USB on the go, but also the things to think about like anti-tamper and e-fuse. So we want to be aware of some of the ways that we can provide countermeasures and protections. So with data storage and mobility devices, software solutions such as BitLocker and Discryptor and the popular Veracrypt allow for this disk encryption. They also allow for the contents of a USB drive to be encrypted automatically and transparently. And so uh, data getting onto USB drives is, is a huge problem for enterprise organizations, okay? Because they're just so small and they're so easily transportable. Some USB drives utilize hardware encryption where the microchips within the USB drive will provide automatic and transparent encryption. As the encryption keys used in hardware encryption are typically never stored in the computer's memory, technically hardware solutions are less subject to cold boot attacks than software-based systems. As you know, virtually every portable device now uses USB to connect to PCs. And as these products get more popular, there's gonna be a growing need to communicate both with USB peripherals and directly with each other when a PC is not available. There's also an increase in the number of other non-PC hosts, like embedded hosts that support USB to connect to peripherals. USB OTG, on the go, and embedded host supplements addresses these scenarios by allowing portable devices and non-PC hosts to have several enhancements. For example, targeted host capability to communicate with chosen USB peripherals, support for direct connection between OTG devices, and power saving features. We also have to be aware of compromised flash drives, okay? Some of the solutions we have for flash drives is ScanDisk Cruiser Enterprise, Kingston Data Traveler Black Box, Verbatim Corporate Secure USB Flash Drive, and Trek Technology Thumb Drive Crypto. Let's talk anti-tamper and e-fuse, okay? Hardware anti-tamper basically gives us the several ways to introduce anti-tamper technology to help secure smartphone apps, especially for financial transactions. So it can protect the application against subversion. It can protect application data. It can protect data and keys in the application from being captured or exfiltrated using cryptographic primitives. It can prevent code lifting to extract individual functionalities. If necessary, it can trigger a response and it can even repair attacked applications or data. eFuse was invented by IBM to allow the dynamic real-time reprogramming of computer chips. A chip manufacturer can allow for the circuits on a chip to change while in operation. And for the purposes of this exam, this technology is used to prevent the downgrading of mobile device firmware by a user. Let's talk next about containerization as a solution. Some of the options are OS virtualization, where one or more virtual operating systems are created and deployed on a single device. We've also got virtual separation, where a mobile device is controlled by a policy or a profile using an MDM solution, for example, Zoho.com. We also have instancing. An example is to provide custom home folders for different users. There's two ways of application layering containerization to create a secured application environment. We can do a containerized application workspace, or we can do app wrapping. So the pros of app wrapping is it's quick and easy to implement, it supports a lot of applications, including third-party apps, and app wrapping is available on Apple and Android platforms. However, some of the cons are it's prone to breaking complex applications, security controls or security policy are high level, or you may not even have that option at all. And it's encryption only for data at rest and data in transit, not data in use, okay? 
Virtual desktop, VDI, okay, virtualizing backend applications. Some of the pros of VDI is it's supported by all the platforms. It's fairly secure because data never resides on the device itself. And it's a quick way to mobilize internal apps. It's ideal for legacy applications. Some of the downsides to VDI is that it's not the same as virtual mobile interfaces. It doesn't support native mobile applications and it offers really a poor user experience. Applications aren't optimized for touch screens or for smaller screen layouts. Then we have web apps, okay? Web apps are supported by all platforms. Every mobile device has a browser available and it's a quick way to mobilize internal apps. Also frameworks that make it easy to design mobile friendly apps are readily available. There are some cons, however, to web apps, okay? It's up to the server to provide support because a browser doesn't typically offer a secure link to its server. Also, browsers store credentials, and that leaves users at risk for having their information stolen. And typically, web apps are a poor user experience. Applications aren't optimized for touch screens or for smaller layouts.